name is James Gavell, and welcome to the first episode of my new travel series. As you can see behind me, I'm in my hometown of Sydney, Australia. It's a beautiful city in this world. But this episode's a little different, as I'm not going to take you so much to those areas, I'm going to take you to the hidden parts of Sydney. Come with me and I'll show you what I mean. So, I'm in the south area of Sydney called Helensburg, right near the train station. But what a lot of people don't know is, this is actually a great tourist spot. There's actually a railway tunnel you can walk through, and it's a great place for photos and art. If you're a train lover, you love exploring or abandoned places, this is the place to come. To get to the old Helensburg station, take the train on the south coastline to the new Helensburg station. Go over the stairs to the roundabout, walk past the bus stop, Follow the footpath down to Old Helensburg Station. Okay guys, we're going to go into the tunnel. I'm a little excited, unknown, and it goes a lot longer than I thought it would. Let's go. Also to people from overseas watching, you want to wear like more hiking good shoes because you go get muddy because it's more of a damp area. You got to watch out for the puddles and to your right, that is where the waterfall is, but it's a lot better when it's been raining more and it floods all around here, creating a nice photo, good Instagram pic, or whatever. Now here comes the exciting bit. So I'm gonna turn on my big light. This is not a proper light for this, but it's better than nothing. Let's go. The other thing I should point out, if you just look down, it's an uneven muddy surface, so enter at your own risk. So um, we're now past the, probably where most people go, and we're going to the more deep end section. So let's have a look. So for all you ghost, everyone who's into ghosts, you'll love this. Okay guys, so we just came back out of the tunnel and to be honest, I will be honest with you, we didn't go all the way down to the end because quite frankly, the ground's just uneven and it's not really a risk I was willing to take. But the more exciting part is when you guys come here, you can go see it for yourself and see if you can beat me going down to the bottom because I ain't going down there. So we're at the Baron Joey Lighthouse, but before the fun begins, I first must point out to you, we need to take two trails. Smuggler's Track or the Axis Trail. The difference with the Axis Trail is it's 15 minutes longer, but that is 10 minutes shorter. So I'm going to take the Smuggler's Trail. Is the Baron Joey Lighthouse, built in 1888. Over there is Karingai National Park. And what is amazing about this location is the beautiful beaches behind me. We have Baron Joe Beach, Palm Beach, and Station Beach. And that there is a Tom Bowler, which is absolutely incredible to see. And it won't be here forever, so it is worth seeing. The Baron Joey Lighthouse is a little harder to get to. Taking a bus will take nearly two hours from Sydney CBD. But if you drive, it is just over an hour just over 45 kilometers, 28 miles away from the Sydney CBD. This is the Queenscliff Tunnel. Not a lot of people in Sydney know about it, and it's a bit harder to find, as you will have to climb over some rocks to get to, but it is worth climbing over. The Queenscliff Tunnel is right next to Manly Beach. To get to Manly Beach, you can drive or take the bus or ferry. To get to the Queenscliff Tunnel, walk north or Manly Beach towards the Queenscliff Rock Pool. Be careful. Come, let's have a look. Just gotta watch your step here. 
This tunnel was used for the fishermen to get across to the beach earlier. It is a great location for photos and adventure. Let's go inside and have a look. One thing you do have to watch though, if you look down, it's an uneven surface. So I'll, I'll avoid it at night. So this is the Newington Armoury. This is a great place to come. It is not, not every tourist comes here, but as you can see around me, there's little train tracks. You can go exploring in the park there. They have train rides here on Sunday during the morning hours. This is great for all your military buffs. If you're into arts and culture, this is great because they have festivals and all sorts of other artistic type of events. And if you're into birds or natural wildlife, funny, I uh, just learned recently is there's actually a bird dome here. The Newington Armoury you can get to by car, bus or the ferry. If you drive there is a car park right next to the armoury. So I am right near the city, right near Milsons Point. There is the Harbour Bridge. But the reason why I brought you here today is there is a spot right near the city that is like being in the Australian bush that is only one train stop away from the city and I want to show it. To get to Wendy's Secret Garden, take the train to Milsons Point and it is a short walk from the train station. This is great from wherever you've been from, this is an adventure. Out. You have to take the, you can catch the train here or just walk from the city, the hotels are over there and it's a nice walk to this little museum. Most people have heard of the bridge climb but the pylon lookout is great whether you're young or old and is easy to get to. thing I love about this beach is like there's this awesome wooden bridge across the beach and over there there's the shark net so there's, it's a safe area to swim and there's the beach the reserve now what's great about here is this is like the suburbs best kept secret but we're showing you this to the world so you won't miss out but I just love the fact that there's actually like a proper bridge like it's you know it's a bridge that shakes when you jump on it you can't jump off the bridge but it's still a nice, you know, it's a nice walk over the water. This is a fun bridge to cross. And this beach is open 24 seven. It is free of charge just to come here. Only parking can be a little difficult. So you may want to consider the side streets. Parsley Bay is just east of Sydney CBD. Catch the 325 bus from the city to Watson's Bay. The stop for Parsley Bay is Fitzwilliam Road near Parsley Road, Vaucluse. So as you can see, this is the North Head Sanctuary where even as a driver, you get a great road. It's an interesting road to go through, as you can see over here. But what I sh what's coming up next is quite a spectacular. So this is the other part of the North Head Sanctuary, which I wanted to show you. And over there towards Manly, and you've got Chatswood over there, North Sydney, Harbour Bridge, the city, and then the Eastern Suburbs. 
And if you come around here, that's out past the rocks and out towards the ocean. To get to the North Head Sanctuary, catch the Manly Ferry, then catch the 135 bus, or you can drive. Welcome to the other spot where I want to take you, Watermolo Beach, right in the National Park. This is a magnificent beach, it has parking over there, and it's well hidden. Great place to swim with your family, the kids, calmer waters, You've got to check it out. The only way to get to Watermolo Beach is to drive, it is roughly an hour's drive from the city. So I'm going to show you this four-wheel driving spot which will be really cool, stay tuned. So as you can see from your left, that is the four-wheel drive boat harbour beach I've been talking about. Now it's better if you have a four-wheel drive rather than an all-wheel drive, otherwise you could have a chance of getting stuck. But the great thing is this is in Sydney, Australia and you can actually drive your four-wheel drive on the beach, go for a swim and you're right near the city. To get to Boat Harbour Four Wheel Drive Beach, head down south of Sydney and is located next to Cronulla. So I've just discovered this place literally a second ago as a local told me about this hidden place. And we just parked our car there, which is parking for free. But you can actually fish at this place. And it's another place I just discovered I mean, I've been living here most of my life. I didn't even know about it. And the place is called Potter Point. And you can do line fishing and even spear fishing. To get to Potter's Point or Cronulla View, as listed on Google Maps, drive on Captain Cook Drive, turn right on Sir Joseph Banks Drive, drive past the Sydney desalination plant, and drive right down to the end of Sir Joseph Banks Drive. At the end of the road, you'll see slightly to your right, a small narrow road which takes you to the lookout. Well thank you so much for watching that whole episode. I hope you enjoyed me taking you to the hidden areas of Sydney. As you can see, some were beautiful, some were more spooky, some were really interesting and different. I bet you enjoyed the tunnels, the little beaches, the little hidden gems, and I can't wait to see you in Sydney, Australia. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below, give this video a like, check out my other videos on YouTube. I do reviews, movie reviews, book reviews, documentaries, and lots more. I hope to see you again next time.